delivery for a Julian? Julian's dead. Well, he ordered a pizza. So I'll just, uh... <sighs> Let me ask you something. How long do you have to be a slumlord until one of your tenants decides to gouge out your eyes? I wouldn't know. Give me the answer. Depends on how long the woman who loves you takes to figure out that she's nothing more to you than just a tenant. Hey kid, don't touch that. It's evidence. Sorry, I just, um, I knew a girl who had the same kind of box. Did her name happen to be Veronica Wilson? Do you think she killed him? Positive. Well, I used to work with her. Does she live around here? Not for long. Boyfriend's given her the boot. Julian was, too. That wasn't until he was found dead, just after only two months of being her landlord. Boyfriend? Which one? Which one? Yeah, which one? Charles Dickinson. He's been living here about two years now. No plans of leaving any time soon. That was until he caught his broad in bed with- Ben Tabak? God, you deliver pizza around here a bunch? He's a regular. Spends a lot of time at the casino next to the pizza shop. Him and Charles. If she's getting kicked out for cheating, it's not because of Ben. So the suspects were friends? <laughs> Way more than friends. She wasn't sleeping around with Ben. All three of them were lovers. Veronica gave this to Ben right before he went to meet Charles at the casino. They were competing in a poker tournament. Hmm. Woman was quite the collector of items and their men. Well, she's sentimental. Keeps love letters written on napkins underneath the register. Love letters like these? Who sent this? Don't know. Could be Ben. Could be Charles. Could be Julian. Elaborate. Well. Charles and Ben were already aware of their mutual interest in Veronica. That doesn't mean that they knew about Julian's. I remember her mentioning how she wanted out. How she couldn't pick either of them, so she wanted well, neither of them. So the love triangle becomes a love square. Like a bunch of swingers in their thirties. Your name became the key. Unlock my heart. Meet my memory. The box. It's definitely from Julian. Definitely? Definitely. Look, neither of them ever called her Ronnie. How would you know that? Well, because I heard every conversation they ever had with each other. Neither of them ever called her Ronnie. Then what am I missing? I want your tricks free. 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 Charles and Ben won that poker tournament. This was the reward. And this is a breakup note from Veronica to Charles and Ben. Which means Veronica didn't kill Julian. They both did. Because if they couldn't have her, then- No one could. Okay, finish my sentence one more fucking time. You need to arrest these men right now! What makes you think I have the power to do that? What do you mean? You're a cop, aren't you? No, I'm not. Are you kidding me? What? I just really like true crime. You're not a detective. No, but I am starting a podcast. <gasps> you could be a guest if you want. How'd you get all this? 
kid, it's the Garfield police. The investigation ends at the crime scene. Want a piece? It's good. I know. I made it. So what are we going to name the podcast? <laughs>